hey guys in this lesson we are going to see how to play a local video in xcode shift app here we have a fresh project now i'm going to add some button into my main storyboard that allow us to play that video we can add this button from this uh, library i will set this button text as play video okay and then i will add some constraints to this button we can keep this button in the center by going into this option and set the horizontal in container and vertically in container now it is okay now we need to make the connection as action to our view controller press on this button then go to assistant here your class should be visible otherwise you can go to this option add editor on right then press on the left side again now select your class the next thing we have to press on the control in the keyboard and drag this to here make sure you selected the connection as action we have to provide the action name let's say btn play video type as ui button all right now we need a video i already uh, got some video in my downloads i'm going to drag that to here and when you are dragging your video make sure you are adding that video into your project target otherwise when you compile your app that file is not available in the app bundle or in the app that's why you have to add that video into targets click finish now how we can check whether this is added into our bundle that means when our app running we should make sure that this video is also available in that bundle we can go ahead and click on this project name and go to build places in the copy bundle resources we should able to see this video file like this okay now the next thing that we have to do is just go to view controller i will say we have to get the path of that video i will say guard i am using guard because we are checking whether this condition can be occurred if not we are going to show some error here i will say path is a equals to now bundle dot main dot path using this we can get the path of that video now put parentheses now inside parentheses we are taking the resource colon now i will say the file name of that video that is video we don't have to put the extension in next phase we are going to add the extension we have to separate this by comma now we have we can say the extension by using this of type and then colon inside double quotations we can pass in the type of that video let's go ahead and see what is that type is here that is mp4 you can see that video is still in the downloads folder if i go to my find by clicking this actually how we can drag this video into the current project also to do that you can just uh, delete this also that video has been deleted i am going to recover this video to downloads again now we can just copy this to here and add to targets now if you select this destination coffee items if need you can see 
that video will be available in the project folder also if you go to this uh, copy bundle resources you will see this video in our project as a local video here all right now uh, here if we go to the code we have to say else statement to say video is not existing video is not found here we have error another error we have to say return inside this braces now we can create our player let player is equals to av player actually we have to import av kit that allow us to play particular video now we should provide a variable name for this uh, guard let statement otherwise that is incorrect now here in this av player we have to say dot init inside that we can say url colon now we are taking a url then inside that we have to say file path the file path is this string like that okay and the next thing we have to do is to create the player controller we can go ahead and say let player controller is equals to av player controller and then parenthesis now after that we have to say player controller dot player is equals to our player all right now we have to present this view controller av player view controller we can use present for that inside parenthesis i'm going to say this uh, player view controller and then let's say animated as true it will be beautiful then right now at braces inside braces we have to say player dot play okay now let's go ahead and run this app our application is running let's go ahead and see how this looks you can see video is playing we have controls also volume and time increasing reducing all right i hope you can clearly understand how to do this thank you very much